guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I have breastfed both of my children. Charlie from longer than Ella, he was maybe about eight months when we stopped and with Ella it was about four months. But in those months I have really learned a lot about breastfeeding, some tips, some tricks, some hacks. And as you guys know, mum advice is the best advice. So doing these kind of videos, I hope there's at least one person that takes something away from it. Some new bit of advice or a tip or a trick that just changes the game for them. Today I'm teaming up with my fellow breastfeeding mummy of two, Rebecca Lamb. She is a beauty and honestly so underfollowed. She's a little gem. You will be so happy if you find Rebecca and you haven't already followed her. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca and like Ash, I'm a mummy but to two little boys. This one is nine weeks old. Oh my goodness and Alfie is nearly four. I really hope you enjoy Ash's video. Make sure you check out mine once you've watched hers and yeah thank you for watching our videos. I hope you enjoy them. So I'm going to link her in my description box but guys we are doing 20 breastfeeding hacks. 10 on my channel, 10 on Rebecca's channel and make sure you check out both videos to find out all the tips and tricks that you need to know if you are a mum to be, a breastfeeding mum or you're maybe thinking about breastfeeding future children, definitely go and check out both videos and see if there's anything in there that you didn't already know and if you're just nosy like me and like watching these kind of videos even though you don't breastfeed, then stick along, watch it, you may be able to recommend it to a friend or something. So yeah, hope you enjoy guys and let's get into the hacks. So tip number one would be to make sure you are in a comfy position. Get comfortable, get a nice comfy armchair to sit in, get comfy on your sofa, get lots of pillows, get a breastfeeding pillow. Just make sure you are comfy in what you are doing because that will definitely help the latch and definitely help you and baby to be comfortable while you are feeding because sometimes it can take half an hour, sometimes it can take five minutes. You never know, so you need to be comfy. The trouble with breastfeeding nowadays is that people are very cautious about making sure they are covered up. Now if you want to just go out there and have your boob bared then I think good for you, that is amazing, you must have loads of confidence and good for you because it should be that way but sometimes some of us other mums just don't have the confidence to do that and my absolute lifesaver product for breastfeeding was 100% this. It is a baby chic breastfeeding cover, you can get lots of different colours, sizes, shapes, everything, they are so good and also this colour that I've got really matches in with loads of the outfits that I've got. I definitely invest in a good cover, I love this one because it makes it hands free, it's also boned and you can peek in and see your child but no one else can see in. Tip number three would be to invest in some good nursing bras. I've got H&M nursing bras and I find that they're absolutely fantastic, they're so soft and comfy to wear and I just think they're great. You are going to need some nursing bras anyway because you can't just take a normal padded bra off to breastfeed and it would end up making your breasts so sore so you definitely need to invest in some good nursing bras that will unclip and you can easily get your breast out to feed. Tip number four is if you have mastitis and I hope that no one does have it because it's awful but if you do have mastitis or really sore boobs then if you pop a couple of cabbage leaves, yes cabbage leaves, into the freezer let them freeze and go really cold and then pop them in your bra they absolutely stink but they do draw out all the badness and the blockage and they also help to soothe your boobs as well which is exactly what you want when they feel on fire and rock solid and really painful but yeah it worked a treat for me and I had mastitis three times each with both of my children so yeah definitely get the cabbage leaves in the freezer and in your bra then go for a shower. Tip number five would be to always have a muslin handy. They are so great, they are so versatile you can use them for so many different things obviously sicky, sickiness if babies are sick you can also use them to cover yourself up a little bit out in public and they're just great for everything for laying down and changing your baby on for wrapping your baby up if they're a bit cold just always have a muslin handy and it will help cover up if you are out in public and also catch any of babies sicky if they are a little bit sicky. Tip number six is a really good one and it's one that I only found recently and wish that I'd used and it's actually getting an empty chapstick or lip balm and filling it with expressed milk then popping it in the freezer sitting upright and it just freezes into like a little stick which you can use on any grazes blemishes spots anything like that because as you guys will know breast milk has really good healing properties so any of those breakouts you could just whip out the expressed milk on the stick and pop it on any kids grazes or anything like that. It's just like a little miracle pen in your freezer. Tip number seven will be to try and stay in high spirits, keep positive and it will definitely help your milk supply. 
you don't want to be arguing with your partner or feeling stressed or anything because it will definitely slow down the milk supply as long as you are happy and positive and content your milk supply should keep really strong and really good and you should be able to feed your baby for a long time Tip number eight will definitely help you in those early days when you are engorged and sore and it's to get some aloe vera gel and just pop it in some freezer bags pop it in the freezer and then use them to cool down the areas that maybe are a bit sore and tender. As these defrost a little bit they become more like a gel substance and it's really good for just popping in your bra and relieving those big sore achy boobs in the days where your boobs are all over the place. This one really worked a treat for me and I definitely think this is one you should recommend to a friend if you know someone who is suffering in the early days. Tip number nine is to do not feel embarrassed and be put off in public. At the end of the day your baby needs feeding and that is all that matters. You cannot be helped if you need to feed your baby. Try to feel really confident about it. I know it can be really embarrassing because I've been there and I do feel embarrassed sometimes but you've got to feed your baby at the end of the day and you're doing what's best for your baby. So try to just be confident and happy about it and everything will be okay. If you're planning on expressing some of your milk then definitely make sure it's so easy and hands free. Get yourself a hold of a little small kind of sports bra crop top cut two holes in it and put both of those breastfeeding pumps in there and it means you can do some hands-free expressing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching all of our tips and tricks. Please do let us know if you've got any tips of your own in the comments below. I would love to know anything that we've missed out because other mums love to know these kind of tips. If you're new here, then I would love if you stuck around and hit subscribe for more videos in the future. I upload three times a week on a Sunday, a Wednesday and a Friday, so please make sure you stick around for all those videos in the future. And if you're already subscribed, please make sure you click that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out Rebecca's channel because she will have the other 10 tips to this 20 tips series over her channel. That's just linked in the description box. All you need to do is click on the little arrow. It will open up the full description box and anything we've mentioned in both of these videos will be linked in there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!